Hessen, Athletic Director of Memphis Junior Senior High School for our edition, our next edition of the Swarm Report. Today we're doing our interview with Melissa Smayfield, our volleyball coach. How are you, Melissa? I'm good. Good. So if you're okay with it, we'll get right into it. So what is your coaching background and how will it help you build our volleyball program at Memphis Junior Senior High School? Um, so I actually started coaching when I was in high school. Um, I was one of the coaches at the YMCA when they were doing the youth programs there and I really enjoyed it. Um, it kind of got me into uh, teaching um, and then I went to Ferris to be a teacher and um, I did some, uh, I played volleyball there, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then when I came out of college I was, I, worked, I started coaching at uh, Port Huron High School with, with their JV team. Um, I did five years there and at the same time I did uh, um, Infinity Volleyball Club which um, so I was doing volleyball all year round. Um, <clears throat> so going right out from high school um, into college and teaching and stuff I feel like teaching and coaching kind of has um, helped me a lot with <laughs> um, coaching now and uh, it just um, yeah, I think that's helpful. Yeah, there's absolutely a lot of overlap from teaching and coaching. Yes. Yeah. You're teaching on the court, obviously, for different yeah. drills, game planning for the next week, and so on and so forth. Yeah, actually, it's kind of funny because when you like lesson plan as a teacher, you're also practice planning. So it's, um, and I like differentiate a lot. Mm -hmm. So working on what the team needs to work on and what individually they need to work on as well. So it's like I'm teaching, taking my teaching moments into my coaching moments as well. And that's awesome, they had the background and obviously you went to school for that, so you got training on how to do that at the highest level. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What is your biggest takeaway from the season and why? Um, I think just growth, learning. Um, I learned a lot as a varsity coach, um, and I learned a lot about uh, the program, um, the school, uh, the girls, learned a lot about the girls, just um, learning how they work and how they uh, work together and individually and as a team um, and then I feel like the girls are just learning with me at the same time so I think that's it. Obviously a very uh, successful learning process winning the most league games in the last few seasons. So yeah. It was exciting. <laughs> uh, to overlap on that, what are you most proud of from the season and what do you think we need to work on most going into next year? The girls. <laughs> most proud of the girls. Um, I worked with a few of them um, for a whole year at that point, at the end of our season, um, and just seeing the growth and the um, uh, how much they improved was just a very proud moment for me. Um, and the effort and the hard work that they have, I mean, we went from just seeing them like be dedicated in a game. I mean, we, we won a lot of, a lot of games we won like the first two sets and then we dipped down and then we got back up and it was just cool to see um, them kind of get out of that hole. Um, and uh, what we need to work on most going into next year I think is our offense um, hitting and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, um, just, yeah, I mean that's kind of it. <laughs> so obviously I'm sure you're already thinking about plans to get better at those different skill sets yes. going into next year. Yes. So speaking of next year, what are your expectations for next year and going into the future after once again winning the most league games in the last few seasons in Memphis? Um, like I said before, more working on offense um, and just uh, um, getting to know each other, getting to know how, how the girls work and um, coming up with a great lineup and uh, just having, you know, the, their dedication and um, commitment and stuff. And I think I also want to focus a little bit more on um, nutrition because I feel like uh, having stamina and the endurance to get through a whole tournament is important. Um, and I, I think I want to focus on that probably a little yeah. bit more this year. And that's good going to next year, you know exactly what you need to work on and how you're yeah. about doing that. Yeah, with volleyball, if you go into the fifth set, that's a lot of volleyball. So that's a lot yeah. of cardio you need to finish out. Maybe tired. Out. <laughs> Maybe so. tired, yeah. How do you plan to continue making your mark on the volleyball program at Memphis Junior Senior High School? Um, 
just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I feel like I'm just doing a lot of coaching, a lot of teaching. Um, during practice, I'm constantly teaching them. Um, and I feel like I also do that when they're playing as well. So I'm, you know, I, I mean, that's all I can really do is just continue to do what I'm doing. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, obviously that, so. a great year one laying down the foundation and to see the improvement from the beginning of the season, yeah, it was yeah, incredible. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. we're all excited. Uh, what does our community need to know about you as a leader of our Lava program? Could be you as the person, you as the coach, however you want to take it. Um, that I'm loyal, uh, I'm dedicated. Um, I love teaching and coaching the sport that I also love playing. Um, uh, I. I feel like I also try to um, help them grow as a person on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So um, with school, with like I'm, I'm big, you know, I went to school for teaching. So um, if they have homework to do, I'm okay with them, you know, missing practice to go and do their homework so they can keep their grades up and stuff like that. I'm a big, big advocate for school first, you know. Um, so I feel like I'm. Um, uh, focus on that and also just them growing as a person. Yeah, I love to hear that. Obviously, we say the student athlete mantra. Yeah. So the fact that you have met that day in and day out is great to hear. Yeah. What do you want to tell our community about what you hope to instill in our volleyball program going into year two and down the road? Um, uh, kindness and discipline. Um, Passion and commitment, mm -hmm. uh, just hard work, effort, <laughs> um, all the things that every coach asks for, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of the same same answer as my last, just uh, working on them growing as a person on and off the court. Yeah, and obviously all those uh, skill sets that you talked about are definitely uh, the marks of a, a great program. We look at like a Sandusky program or like Obli in our league, and obviously they've done a lot of growth throughout the years, established their program, and they're teaching them on and off the court, which is yeah. Important. We're moving to the next one. What kind of rotations did you run this year, and are you going to tweak any of them going into next year? You talk about maybe tweaking the offense. Yeah. Um, so the rotation that we that we ran last year, well, we tried to do a six-two, um, and that's where our we have two setters because we have two setters. Um, we I tried to run them uh, back row settings so that we had three hitters at all times. Um, but that didn't really work out, so we did a 5-1, and we just had one setter um, and two hitters and at all times. But um, this year, you know, we lost five season, five or five or seniors, so, um, and they, they all played, uh, like, almost every set. So it'll be a little bit different. Um, but, you know, every season comes with a new... Um, adaptable, adaptable plan and um, just working on what uh, what they're able to do, you know, what their potential is. And, um, so every every season is different. Um, but yeah, our offense definitely. Uh, I'm excited to see like what girls come up and show. Um, improvement from last season and stuff like that so yeah to see who's ready for senior seasons who's developed and gotten better yeah and obviously exactly. it helps that you're personalizing the strategy or the scheme to the girls that we have and exactly best. yeah exactly working and yeah putting them where they do their best <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely so what made you want to take the job as head volleyball coach at memphis junior senior high school the girls I um, coaching at Port Huron, a uh, big difference from um, who I coached for Infinity. I had four Memphis girls on my Infinity team, and I really liked them as a person. Um, they were just so nice, and, uh, and then once somebody told me that I should apply, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do that, <laughs> um, just because of the girls. Um, so, yeah. yeah, we're obviously super thrilled that they did reach out to you to apply because it was great year one. Yeah. Going into the, the future with you as the leader of our volleyball program. Um, do you have any plans to help with our youth volleyball program going forward? Um, so this past summer we did uh, youth camps 
Um, I want to get, I, I want to try to get more middle schoolers in um, uh, and work more with them. Um, but we, this past season, we, we went to some of their games. Um, we, I'd like to do more for that and more, um, more, uh, what am I? More overlap between the, the junior high. Yeah. And the program, so yeah. Exactly. Program. Yeah. Um, and there's another thing that I that I had thought about is doing a um, like a week before their tryouts, doing like a um, a camp for them, just um, training and getting them ready for their tryouts and stuff like that. But I would also like to reach out to the coaches um, and offer even my help or some of our varsity girls' help during their practices once in a while. Um, uh, yeah, just getting to know the coaches a little bit more and more comfortable with my surroundings and everything. So Absolutely. Yeah. I think the girls would be really excited at the junior high level to have some of the varsity players and the varsity coaches watching yeah. and helping out. Yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah. So obviously. Exciting stuff for our junior high and our varsity programs going forward to be able to help out and yeah. bridge that gap. Um, what is one thing that best describes your coaching style? I like to focus on what the girls need to work on um, and what they do well in. Uh, but I feel like I differentiate well um, and I, I make my practice plans based on what the team needs but also what our individual players need to work on as well. So a lot of our practices we're working on things that we can improve on things that we need to work on as a team. Um, but sometimes we do uh, um, individual training. So the hitters are working on what they need to work on. Our defense is working on what they need to work on. Our setters are working on what they need to work on. And um, that does, that improves a lot um, when we're focusing on what they need to work on individually and then bringing it in as a team. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Obviously that's a lot to balance though, work on team stuff they need to get better on, but also individuals. Yeah, the, and we do, sense. yeah, um, we do goals as well. So the girl, like at the beginning of the week, um, they focus on, we do, uh, we make team goals um, that are achievable and, and they do individual goals mm -hmm. as well. So um, throughout that week, they're focusing on, um, you know, whether it's my setter, uh, um, uh, let's do my hitter uh, gets um, five kills in one game or something like that. It's something that is attainable and something mm -hmm. that they can work on. But then there's also like things that, um, foot, like footwork, getting my feet to the ball more or staying low more and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's like everything um, that they want to focus on that week and then we uh, evaluate those goals the next week and then we make new goals, whether or not. I mean, they can repeat those same goals if they need to work on it mm -hmm. more, but um, I think that helps a lot, too, with um, them having it in the back of their mind, like, oh, I've, I've told myself I would work on this this week. Yeah, so i got to keep at it. Yeah. Obviously, that speaks to why our team improves so much, because <laughs> you're always trying to progress and move forward and get better at the yeah. goals that they want to achieve. Yeah. So, where do you see our volleyball program in three years from now? Um, I'm... Sorry, I did a lot of work, um, a lot of getting to know the girls this year, um, and I feel like as we continue to do that, we get more comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be working on, I mean, at three years, our freshmen will be seniors, so I have been working with them, hopefully, for the whole four years. Um, so hopefully thriving, <laughs> more league championship or uh, cha league championships. Um, but. Yeah, I'm hoping to see really great improvement with our freshmen by then because we'll be seniors. So. Yeah, four years of achieving hopefully individual and team goals. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. Uh, how do you plan to positively impact our athletic department next season and going into the future? Whether it be helping out at other games, supporting the other coaches, yeah. talking to them, bouncing ideas off them? Yeah, um, I definitely want to volunteer to do more concession work. Um, I told myself I'd do that this year. Um, uh, so I, I would like to stick with that um, and probably go into some more meetings and just getting more involved, mm -hmm. um, going to some more, um, maybe some basketball games and really like to make it to a couple. Um, 
yeah, and just being being more supportive with the other sports and uh, coaches and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and that's great to hear. Is I know we had some uh, basketball coaches that were attending a lot of volleyball. Yeah, games. like everyone. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. So it's great to see uh, the loyalty and the appreciation for the different sports and different yeah, coaches in absolutely. that department. Absolutely. So, what is your plan to get our volleyball program to compete for league championships? I know you talked about that's the goal. How do we get there? Um, just constant training. I'm hoping for a little bit more commitment in the summers. I know it's not. You know, it's it's not um, mandatory or whatever, but um, just getting just getting physically and mentally ready um, to compete. Uh, and you know, the more I work with the girls, the more um, work that they put in is um, kind of like you know how we get there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping hoping that I can get them to commit a little bit more and um, just continue to work hard. Yeah, obviously you get what you work for. So yeah. Getting the girls to buy in and show up and yep. want to get better and ready for the season will definitely be positive and helpful as we chase that goal moving forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about yourself or what you're looking to build at Memphis Junior Senior High School as our varsity volleyball coach? Um, I, I don't know. I will probably continue to coach for the rest of my life. If I can't coach anymore, then I'll go officiate. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I love the sport. I know what I'm doing. Um, I continue to, you know, look up better ways, uh, for, you know, looking up const different drills. I'm looking up um, ways to um, work on some other things. So I'm constantly doing more research. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to go to some, uh, out of the coaching conferences that those are out of state, but um, you just I'm, I feel like I'm constantly learning and I'm um, eager to know more. Um, you know. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's exciting that you're always inquisitive and want to get better and learn different yeah. ways to stimulate the girls and be able to help them with their their skills on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So and yeah. then. Obviously, you touched on you love volleyball, and I know you play a little volleyball yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, I play. Um, Right now I'm playing on Monday nights and Friday nights, so competitive um, adult leagues. Uh, so much fun. <laughs> um, I love playing. I love playing. I play with the girls sometimes too, mm -hmm. so it's nice to have that relationship a little bit with them as well. Um, but yeah, I probably will never stop playing until it's like my body gives out. <laughs> so yeah. Sounds like you have a lot of years until then, but hopefully. <laughs> so that's the plan. Yeah. Well, that wraps up our next edition or this edition of the Swarm Report. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you.